Good morning to the morning. Good morning to the sun up in the sky. Good morning to the people passing by. Good morning to the morning. Good morning to the yellow. Good morning to the green and red and blue. Good morning to you and you and you. Good morning to the morning. It's such a glorious day. Nothing's getting in our way. We'll greet the day with a grin. Let's begin. Feeling good, feeling great, and I simply can't wait to say good day. Good morning to the morning. I'm gonna sing and dance and jump and jive and thank my lucky stars that I'm alive. Good morning to the morning. Good morning to the morning. Good morning to the day, all bright and new. Good thing I'm gonna spend it all with you. Can't think of a better thing. Let's see who our Composer of the Week is. Our Composer of the Week is Frederick Chopin. Chopin was a Polish virtuoso pianist of the Romantic era. He supported himself by giving piano lessons. He was high in demand. Chopin only gave 30 public performances. He preferred an intimate salon setting. Frederick Chopin invented the concept of the instrumental ballad a narrative poem with lots of drama set to music. Chopin died very young at 39. He's buried in the same cemetery as Jim Morrison, Oscar Wilde, and Edith Piaf. Hey you guys, how do you know if your music school is closed? There's a sign in the window that says, Gone Chopin. <laughs> Seriously though, don't worry about it, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Oh yes, it's drum time, and the feeling's right. Oh yes, it's drum time, oh what a time. It's time to go grab your own drum at home. And if you don't have a drum, just ask your grown-up for a pot or a pan. They'll love that. Hi kids, my name is Mr. Eric, and I teach drums here at Mr. John's Music. I'm going to teach you the drum part to the next song. We have it written up here in our music notes. It's in 4-4 four, four time. That means we have four beats. Per measure, our low sounds are on the downbeats, and they're in pink. It'll be on one, four, and two. Our high sounds are in yellow, and they're on beats three. And these little squigglies are called rests, and you just shh, rest. I'll play it once for you on my cajon. Just like that. Now, I'm going to bring in some friends so we can show you how you can play it at home. Wait. 
singing lesson of the day. Today we're talking about harmony. A harmony supports the melody and it's our job to support Mr. John in the next song. We're splitting our harmony into two parts today. One for the ladies and one for the men. Ladies, you're on a C note and it sounds like this. Hoo ah, that's your part, let's hear it. Hoo ah, beautiful. Men, you're on an E note and it sounds like this. Hoo ah, let's hear it. Hoo ah, beautiful. We're gonna put those two parts together and we're gonna sing them the whole way through. Ready? Hoo ah, hoo ah, hoo. So let's take that singing lesson and put it into practice. Miss Heather, can we get a C, please? Sure. That's for you, ladies. What about an E? Here. That's for you, gentlemen. And what about a G? That's for me. Ooh. One, two, three, here we go.
Can you guess who our artist of the week is? Based off of the last two songs? That's right. It's Alicia Keys week. Alicia Keys is known as the queen of R&B. She's a musician, singer, composer, and actress. And her music spans over multiple genres like soul, hip hop, jazz, and of course, R&B. Alicia Keys was born in 1981 in Manhattan. Her father is Jamaican and her mother is Italian. That makes her part of a multicultural family. Alicia Keys is revered for her artistry and for blending classical elements of music with modern elements like soul and hip hop. Count with us in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ahora vamos a contar en español. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte. En francés, s'il vous plaît. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit, dix-neuf, vingt. Enchanté. Shalom. Let's do some Hebrew. Echad, shtayim, shalosh, arba, hamesh, shesh, sheva, shmone, tesha, eze, chadashre, stanishre, shaloshre, arba, hadre, hameshre, sheshre, shvayishre, shmonaishre, chayishre, ezrim. Let's try it in Vietnamese. Mo. Hai, ba, bum, na, so, ba, da, jay, mo, mi, mo. Me high, me bad, me bold, me long, me so, me bite, me bad, me gym. London Bridge is falling down. Ooh. My fair lady. Clean up, clean up, everybody, everywhere. Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. One more in that room? Got it. Right next to each other. Got it. Cool. One more. One more. Nice. Right. Last one, don't travel. Beautiful. All right, wash those fingers. Cool. Let's see what's next. Today, I have a pink ball. Is pink a boy or a girl? No, no. Pink is just a color, and a color is just a color. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. It's your turn, Ian. Oh, Ian's wearing red toe socks. Ian's wearing red toe socks. Ian's wearing red toe socks. Let's say hello to Ian. Hi, Ian. Hey, Ian. If pink had a smell, what do you think pink would smell like? Strawberries. Strawberries. <laughs> Can you share it with Treble? Oh, Treble's trebles wearing rainbows and unicorns. Treble's wearing rainbows and unicorns. Treble's wearing rainbows and unicorns. Let's say hello to Treble. Hi, Treble. Treble, can you share with Levity? Yeah, love. Where's Levity? Roll it. Yes. Trebles oh, Levity's wearing A pink pig? Like Peppa Pig? Trademark? <laughs> Levy, can you share with your mom? Olivia. Olivia. Olivia's wearing stripes. Olivia's wearing stripes. Olivia's wearing stripes. Let's say hello, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Olivia, if pink made a sound, what sound do you think pink would make? And it's Serena. Oh, Serena's wearing a green bow. Serena's wearing a green bow. Serena's wearing a green bow. Let's say hello, Serena. Hi, Serena. Serena, if pink was a movement, how would pink move? Show me pink moving. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> and that is pink. 
Rose quartz. Bossy pink. Hot pink. Pink lemonade. No cow pink. Mm. Conch shell. Sea pink. All right, it's time for our movement song this week. It comes from one of my favorite kids artists, and you guys know how I feel about kids musicians. His name is Jim Gill, he's from Chicago, and this is called the Silly Dance Contest. If you have an opportunity, you should look up some of his albums. They're really great. Are you guys ready to dance? Oh yeah. Ah. Yeah. Miss Faye? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dance any way you want to.
prediction for the letter of the day? Hmm. It's the letter that makes this sound. Mmm, my prediction is M. What's yours? Let's find out. <gasps> oh, today's letter. What letter is this? It's letter P, capital letter P. Capital letter P is one line down and one hump from the top to the middle. What sound does P make? flat hand, stick it in front of your own mouth and go puh, puh, puh. Do you feel a little puff of air when you say the sound of P? You do puff out air when you say the sound of P. I'm going to put it on our board. There's one more thing in our envelope today. <gasps> it's little baby lowercase letter P, which looks a lot like capital letter P, but it's a little bit different. It's one line down and a hump from top to bottom. But when we write lowercase letter P, it goes low. Does it make the same sound as capital letter P? Mm-hmm. Let's see what words start with the letter P. Pansies. Palace. Pitcher. Pitch. Puzzle. Pilot. Paddle. Pajamas. Paramedic. Playground. Panda. Popsicle. And I have our last button, Panther. Okay, it's shaker time. Grab your favorite shaker and let's make some music together.
your chosen instrument here, Miss Heather? This is the piano. And how long have you been playing the piano? I've been playing the piano for 30 years. Whoa! That's almost as old as me. Miss Heather, I was wondering if you could tell us about the insides of this Sure, piano. let's open this up. Take it away. Okay, so we have many parts inside of the piano. First part we're going to look at are the hammers. Mm. Um, so when you press a key down, the hammer leaps into action and strikes the strings behind it. Oh, wow. Whoa. Now, Miss Heather, why does one key have three strings up here? So it can be loud oh. and for the tone color. Oh, interesting. And Miss Heather, look, some of the keys are white and mm -hmm. some of the keys are black. Why is that? So that we can see them easily. Oh, well, you know, in my world, that's called contrast. Miss Heather, can we see what it looks like when you play the piano sure. while it's open? Here we go. Keep on falling in love with you. Sometimes I love you. Sometimes you make me blue. Sometimes I feel good. Keep on 
Kids, it's me, Miss Maria, and welcome to Drag Queen Storytime. Today, we are going to be reading The Family Book, written by one of our favorite authors here at Mr. John's Music, Todd Parr. Now, Todd Parr was born in Wyoming in 1962, and he moved to San Francisco in 1995 where he was a former flight attendant. Now, he's also written 50 books that are available in 18 languages. And they're all about social tolerance, diversity, equality, and he's in, even written for Sesame Street. Oh, that's so exciting. But now he lives in Berkeley with his three pit bulls, Pete, Tater Tot, and Jer Jer. And now it's time for our reading rules. But I have to put on my reading glasses first because reading is what? Fundamental. Now, I want everyone to find their eyes. Our eyes are watching. And I want everyone to find their ears. Our ears are listening. And I want everyone to find our mouths because our mouths are quiet. And now, everyone give yourself a big hug, big hug. Our bodies are still. And then I want you to find your imaginations. Our imaginations are dreaming. And now it's time to read The Family Book by Todd Parr. Some families are big, and some families are small. Some families are the same color, and some families are different colors. Well, what color are you today? Pink? Well, I'm sparkly, and it changes colors. Right there, you can write your name in it. <laughs> All families like to hug each other. Oh. Some families live near each other, and some families live far from each other. Some families look alike, and some families look like their pets. All families are sad when they lose someone they love. Oh, very sad. And some families have a stepmom or stepdad and stepmothers and stepbrothers and stepsisters. And some families adopt children. Some families have two moms or two dads. And some families have one parent instead of two. How many parents do you have? Two, wow, lucky you. All families like to celebrate special days together, like their birthday, blow out the candles and make a wish. Some families eat the same things, and some families eat different things. Some families like to be quiet, and some families like to be noisy like ones from South Philly or South Jersey, especially the Italian ones like mine. Some families like to be clean. It's good to be clean, wash our hands. And some families like to be messy. Some families live in a house by themselves. And some families share a home with other families, like apartments or hotels. All families can help each other be strong. Can you be strong? Urgh, yes, you're so strong. There are lots of different ways to be a family. Your family is special no matter what kind it is. Love, Todd. Now remember, before we finish any drag queen story time, we must talk about what we like about ourselves because it's very important to like things about yourselves. Today, we're gonna talk about what we like about ourselves on the inside. 
And I think I like my patience the most because it's very patient when you have a camera in your face through a mirror. I like my silliness. I like my brain and I like my heart. What do you like about what's inside you? Thank you all so much for being here. I'll catch you next time at Drag Story Time. And remember, follow me on Instagram at Hey Hun, it's Maria. H E Y H O N I T S M A R I A. This is one of my favorite Shel Silverstein poems. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire, for we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in. Come in. All right, it's time. You know what to do. Dedos arriba, fingers up. Uno, dos, tres. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? Me. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> Increíble! Pero no hay bastante para todos! There's not enough for everybody! What are we gonna do? SHARE! Today's treasure is... a camera. Right now, cameras are helping us stay connected with the people that we care about. Miss Lily and I are using cameras right now to make this TV show expressly for you. Our content comes through the camera. That means our words, our actions, our pictures, our videos. It goes through the internet all the way to get to your home. Miss Lily and I are learning how to zoom in, how to zoom out, how to say prune. And this particular camera is special because this toy camera is a kaleidoscope. In theory, you should be able to see many of me right now. Say jeans. Uh-huh. Fierce. Oh yeah, the camera loves it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Give me tiger. Yeah, give me exhaustion. Oh, give me pandemic. Oh, perfect. Uh-huh. Right now, the world feels a little bit scary. And maybe the grown-ups around you are feeling a little stressed. But we want you to know that everything is gonna be all right. Because our job as grown-ups is to keep you safe. And we're gonna do that job. Everything is gonna be all right. This song is for you.
time for bubbles. One little bubble flying through the air, not a single care in the world. One little bubble, happy he was blown, dancing all alone, nothing to be moaned, singing to himself as he drifted by a simple little rock in a common quarter time. Maybe I'm not the Another little bubble came to hear his melody, for he was curious to see who sang the song. He listened till the end, said that's quite a tune you pen, and I'd like to recommend that each other we be friend. For the song you sing is true, it's a lovely point of view, and the fact that you like you is what makes me like you too. So maybe you're not the or a beautiful blue balloon But there's nothing that you should be But you Not a button or basketball Not a clock hanging on the wall No, there's nothing that you should be But you each other soar through the sky so high above. That's the way we're meant to love. You don't have to be the moon or a beautiful blue balloon. There is someone who will love you for you. For nobody else that's in front of me and the loveliest thing to see is you so you do you cause you as you goodbyes. Our content wouldn't be coming to you without the generous support of Spring Session 1 families. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, thank you to my fantastic staff. They're so dedicated and they're so excited to make this programming for you. And behind the scenes, David Andorra, who not only is responsible for this fantastic set that we have, but also is doing a ton of our editing. Um, you guys, stay healthy. You guys, keep singing. Let's say goodbye. Adios, 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 amigos. Adios, 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 amigos. Adios, Faye. Adios, Jacob. Adios, Heather. Adios, Eric. Adios, Melody. Adios, Diego. Adios, Lily. And adios, you. Whatever that was.
this round. Remember to wash your hands. Water and soap. Soap and water. Water and soap. Soap and water. Water and soap. Soap, soap, soap and water. Water, water. Extra toilet paper is on the shelf above you. All you gotta do is reach. Yes. Reach for your dreams and extra toilet paper. Yeah. It's right above you. So just reach. <laughs>